Hello and welcome to a video to have a look at light rail developments and transit in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm at the end of the light rail line on the blue line at the I-485 station. Travelling the world on planes, trains, trams and more. Join Mark Hopwood as he shows you some of the great journeys he's made. Travel with him as he takes you to a whole variety of destinations. And just remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video and give Mark your comments on this video. Welcome to Charlotte in North Carolina. As I said in my introduction, I'm at the I-485 station, which is the most southerly station on the Blue Line, which is one of the new light rail lines constructed to serve Charlotte here in North Carolina. Two lines operated by the Charlotte Area Transit system that they call their Lynx network. It's a branding that's been in place since 2006. Later in this video we'll visit the Gold Line but right now we're leaving the I-485 on the Blue Line. It's a 19.3 mile light rail operation that operates from the south side of the city up through the city centre, through the transit uh, centre and up to the north of the city, 7th Street in uptown Charlotte. It originally shared operation with the Charlotte Trolley but sadly that is uh, no more and the network now extends beyond 7th Street up to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. It's got Siemens S70 rolling stock and actually serves quite a large number of stations. 26 stations are on the line of route. You can see here my experience traveling on the network and we're just running into the station at the north end of the route now, the University of North Carolina, where this tram will terminate and we'll head back into the city center. The reality is, of course, that networks of this nature in North America are still relatively unusual. There are some cities that have invested in light rail, they've taken some historic networks and upgraded them, or, as in the case of this route, they've built a completely new operation from scratch. So this is Charlotte Transit Center. I alighted and made my way downstairs to the Gold Line and one of the Gold Line trains with uh, wrapping for advertising partners just arriving here at the Transit Center station and then heading off uh, eastbound into the city and beyond. It's a relatively short line this, it's only four miles long. Um, this train has come from French Street and it's carrying on uh, through Central Charlotte to Sunnyside uh, Avenue. Both the transit lines in Charlotte operate using Siemens vehicles, two slightly different sets of vehicles, Siemens 70 and Siemens 700 cars operate on each of the lines. There were some replica streetcars running that uh, date from the turn of the century but those were taken out of use in 2019 and sold to Memphis. So this is the end of the line at French Street and the services terminate here in a short turn back siding before heading back into Charlotte and on to the rest of the network. So I hope you found that review of light rail in Charlotte interesting. It's certainly a small network but it's modern and it's a uh, real change for the US to be seen investing in this. I've brought us back to the I-485 station where the film started and I'll catch you real soon on the next video here on Mark's Trains, Planes and Trams.